I'm a funny little individual. People laugh when they watch my show. I'm a funny, funny. I'm a funny, funny. Petite laughs. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna make this story short and simple. In the midst of all this COVID and during these unfortunate times, I still have to go to school. And so on my way from school, I stop at a traffic light, which is right across from my apartment complex, but right next to a homeless shelter. Now I know what you're thinking. Lee Mac, do you like need help? Or is everything okay at home? If it is, just let me know. But no. <laughs> It's nothing like that. The reason why I live across from a homeless shelter is simply because this city thought that it'd be a good idea. They were this city was literally just like, mm, where do we, where do we want to put this apartment complex? Right, right there, right there. Are you sure that's where you want to put it? I mean, it's right across a homeless. Nope, right there. I'm sure that's where I want to put it. Okay, but anyways, as I was approaching the complex. I saw something in the corner of my eye. Okay, as I was approaching the complex, I saw something clearly. There was a homeless lady, and she was, you know, yelling in the streets at whatever cars passed her by or what so. And she happened to be on the exact same street that I was pulling up on. And so, where I'm from, I wouldn't say necessarily that I'm not used to homeless people being around, but this particular instance was special. This, this instance was special because not only was she old, but she was old and buff. Now, there are two types of buff that we're talking about. We're talking about muscle man buff, and we're talking about I lift cars for a living type buff. <laughs> now, I don't want no beef, and apparently she has plenty of it on her back. And as of right now, I'm not trying to take no handouts. So, I pull up to the stoplight, and I'm trying to avoid eye contact as much as possible. But, as things would play out, she continuously looks at me. And so, you know, there are only a couple of options that I have. One, I make a right turn, and I do some need for speed most wanted stuff. And then, you know, I drift the rest of my car into the other lanes, and then I make a right into my complex. That's number one. Two, I could have stayed there and tried to ignore her, but I had the feeling she would approach, and then I'd have to lay these hands. <laughs> one more time for the people in the back. I'd have to lay these hands. And we all know what happens when I do that. If I had to lay these hands, though, I would still remain defeated, because I'd be beaten on a black queen. I'd be beaten on a black king. I'd be beaten on a black queen. <laughs> and that wouldn't be cool. Ultimately, the light did change and I was able to, you know, speed off. But the moral of the story is, if anyone is near that apartment complex, right across from the homeless shelter, you might want to make sure that you're strapped. You could possibly lose a tire. You could possibly lose your arm. You could possibly lose your steering wheel. Something like that is going to happen. Nah, I'm just kidding. But I hope you had a chuckle in this video. And if you did, please leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe.